close enough. It just needs a little bit of warmth. Um, this is gonna be a little evening vlog because Maghrib comes in in like five minutes and we haven't started making Mufsar yet. <laughs> it's okay, we can break our fast on other things. Did it work a little better? Yeah. See? How do you know the secrets? I'm just smart. <laughs> Um, so anyways, this is the first vlog after the Ramadan night's iftar. I hope you guys enjoyed that vlog. Um, I was just looking over the footage and I'm sending it to my editor right now so she can actually do it. So I don't actually know what it's going to look like in the end, but just looking over the footage, it looks really, really fun. So I'm so excited to like see how she edits that. Um, I've been working with the same editor for five years now. I think since 2019, Ashley, and she's incredible. Um, she edits like 90% of all my YouTube videos. Sometimes like I'll do some, but it's very rare and I personally like her work better than mine. <laughs> so um, she's incredible. But anyways, back to what we're doing right now. We're making, my husband saw this thing by Moribian. Um, I believe her name is Hajar. I just, I always call her Moribian. Moribian. <laughs> um, but she made these like pita pocket, um, arawayif, is it called? Like meat inside of the pockets. Um, and we actually have the ingredients for it already. So we were like trying to figure out what to have for iftar today. And this is going to be it. I feel like it's going to be really yummy. So I'm just going to stuff. <laughs> Are you making a weird face? No oh, <laughs> you were, weren't you? <laughs> you were thinking? Yeah. Oh. Well, go on, Ashley. <laughs> the fact that she can <laughs> he thinks it's so cool that my editor like sees them talking to... anyways um peter bed in it <laughs> this man is obsessed with top boy <laughs> he'll just randomly start saying well, go on. he'll just randomly start saying uk slang <laughs> you're sid what you saying <laughs> You know that's like Toronto slang too? What you saying? You know that's like Toronto slang too? I don't hear you speak slang. I because I don't talk like that. <laughs> but go to Toronto, watch. When we go to Toronto, all the all the guys at the Road mosque man. all the guys at the mosque talk like that. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Like Ali and all his friends. Remember Ali? And one's friend. That's how brother. you talk off camera. Don't that's lie to them. <laughs> that's how we talk. Um anyways, so we're making this. I think it's gonna be delicious. Need more. And we don't need that many. How many are you gonna eat? I'm eating four. Okay. I want some like salad on the side. Is this enough meat inside? That's good, right? Oh, this. What? Is that good? This uh, is like no, a, that's like a the burger. Videos, it looks like more food. Okay, okay, okay. That's you like a it, burger. You if you're gonna have four. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, the past two days we've just been recovering from the iftar event because that was a lot, a lot of energy, a lot of fun though. Like I kind of like not in a depressive state but I'm just like damn like I want to do that all over again like I had such a good time and I honestly think just like having a planner this year was the best way to go obviously that's not like possible every single time I was able to do that because I had Ami Kole as a sponsor and I was able to use some of that money to allocate towards an event planner but man there's a reason they're in business because it seriously like made the entire event run so smoothly you okay um, I also got a bunch of, or we also got a bunch of gifts from our friends and stuff that came. So I haven't even opened it. They're literally just like sitting there. And my husband's been so curious to see what's inside. So I'm going to do a little unboxing after we eat. One of the things though, someone gave us a couple like ah! drinks. Are you okay? Careful. What the heck? This is an open flame, babe. It doesn't need to be like burnt. Just enough for the steam to hit. Anyway, someone gifted us some Martinelli's, so we're gonna have that for iftar. Popping bottles. <laughs> Popping bottles. <laughs> Halal bottles. Okay, so two, four, and you have a, one more? No, I'm good with two. I'm gonna sure. make some salad make too. It, make... Let me show y'all what I'm doing. Ooh, I can make a sauce for us. Just mix a little bit of lebanay with lemon and... Um, cilantro. Yeah, cilantro and garlic. It'll be a yummy white sauce. Um, what happened with Air Canada? Yeah, put some oil. Okay. The battery died. But I'll show you guys what it looks like. It looks so yummy. 
Maybe we should have like put it on something so it stayed crispy, but it's still gonna be really good. So we have those and then I made just like a quick cucumber and tomato salad. And then I also made like a labne garlic dip so that we can dip it in. We gotta have some salad too, okay? We'll just do it till the top. <laughs> Sparkling blush. It's just juicy. Where my laptop go? Where did you put it? No top boy. It's, hey, right, it's right there. Relax. Don't touch stuff that's not yours. <laughs> you see top how he be tweaking on me? No, top boy is getting played. We're not listening. We're, I don't want to listen to hey. top boy while we have. It's our please. Come on, no. that's crazy. No. We were watching your show all last week, but now it's not turning you on. It was your show. That's crazy. It was your yeah, show. Yeah, see how she do it? Dude, that was your show that you put on. All the last week was watching her show. No. Not her show. Oh, you got the two biggest ones. <laughs> what the heck? Babe, you They're all the, all the little ones. Maybe you have four. I have two, you have four. Your two is bigger than everything No, they're else. not. Okay, this one's a little big, but this Stack one's them not. Of each other. Let me just see. <laughs> Babe, you have four. I only have two. That's cold. You know that's crazy. You have the two biggest ones. No, I don't. Okay, we'll switch this one. I'm trying on this. <laughs> Man, take your bite. I hope it's close to the... Stuff. Oh, I'm not even on camera time. Cause you're Sid. He be tweaking before he eats. You do. I'm a tweak? Yes, you're a tweak. That's <laughs> <laughs> mm. not a show you want to watch with me? It's not a show I want to watch while I eat. I can't have my drinks, I'm gonna get full. This was a good idea. Good idea, was it? Was it? It's no, kind of gold. No, you showed mine. it to me. And then I was like, oh, we have all the ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. So I didn't enjoy this. And then we're going to inbox all the gifts we got from the Iftar. Finished eating, so now I want to go through what everyone got us. So we just finished one of the drinks already, but we also got another drink. I feel like this is from Ala. This is from Ala. Sugar-free vanilla syrup. Which I actually do love and use all the time, so very happy about that. But I'm just like, who sent this? Oh, okay, yeah, I think it is Ala. I'm pretty sure it's Ala. I'm trying to think. I remember her walking in with something, so I think it is this. No, she walked in with something. I think it was she this. Told me it was under the thing. No, I'm pretty, it I'm pretty sure it's this stuff. And then also some pitted arm. Amarina wild cherries in syrup. You know what? I actually I think she did get this because she knows I like making mocktails. These are like the little mm -hmm. cocktail cherries. Those That's are actually cute. cherries in there. Yeah, little cocktail That's cherries. So cute. This bottle's really cute too. I'm gonna make some recipes out of that. So thank you very much. I don't know who gave us Godiva, <laughs> but we got some Godiva chocolates and my husband has already eaten. 99% of it, so <laughs> thank you to whoever got that. And then I also got something from Le Labo. This is from my friend Marwa. AKA, hold up! <laughs> Damn! Get you a greasy head out of my face. <laughs> Marwa? No, she did not. She handed it to me. She don't know you. <laughs> we had a connection. No. <laughs> she got us Santal 26 scented candle. Ooh. <laughs> Someone commented on my video and they're like, Aisha, why don't you dance with your husband? <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill. Why are you in the Why are you in a frenzy? <laughs> I'm just dancing right behind you, like, I'm not even touching you. Dang. Dance with me, baby. No, go away. Okay. She's shy, y'all. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. Let me do my unboxing in peace, damn. She's shy, she's red, y'all. Mm, 
that smells so good. Labeled in Lido Marina. Oh, is this for Aisha and Yasin on it? I think it does. This Look. Is my first. That's so no, it says Aisha and Yasin. <sighs> that smells so good. Don't be burning this. This is one of the candles you don't burn. Because you be burning all the nice candles. I walk into the room, Maison Margiela candles are burning. I'm burnt out. I'm like, damn. Just like I can't have nothing nice in this house. <laughs> this box from Nordstrom. This is from my friend Lena and her husband Muhammad. And it says Eid Mubarak. Thanks for hosting us. So cute. What is this? Ooh, hourglass diffuser. Oh my god, this is like diptyque. That is so nice. What the heck? Thank you so much, Lena. Wow. That's so lovely. Two. Oh, refill. Oh, that's so nice. No way. Oh, no way. That is beautiful. Oh my god. This is literally stunning. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you so much, Lena. What? I didn't even know Diptyque made something like this. When it said diffuser, this is not what I was expecting to see. Like, this is genuinely so pretty. How do you use it? I don't know. But this is gorgeous. It kind of looks like an old dispenser or something. That is, like, really nice. Wow. So, ooh. Okay, I've never actually had anything like this before. Babe! Isn't that so cool? Who is that? It's like a, a, a fragrance dispenser, like... So it like slowly diffuses scent all over your house, but it's like pretty. It's by Diptyque. Ooh. Diptyque. It's like a bougie candle or like home fragrance company. Lena and her husband, uh, Muhammad. Did you meet him? You did, right? <laughs> you remember people. It's like kind of smells like a lychee. And then you. So cool! Look! And just over time, like, eh, he's watching too. He's watching his show, he don't care. Anyways, this is gorgeous. Thank you so much, Lena. This is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm gonna clean up and I will catch y'all later. We're making codfish fritters because my husband is obsessed with them and he will not let it go. Um, he bought a lot of codfish though, so I don't know, this is gonna be like a lifetime supply of codfish fritters, but it is what it is. Right now I'm just salting it to try and get as much moisture out as possible. That one is because they brine it in salt that I guess they use in Jamaica and other places. You know like jerky? You know what jerky is? What you saying, bro? You know what jerky is? You don't know what jerky is? Like beef jerky or something? Yeah. Like, yeah, that's know? how that, that fish comes. Mm -hmm. So that's like saying steak versus beef jerky. Like, that's like soaking a steak in water. Exactly. That's how I'm trying to like describe it to you. <laughs> okay. Salt, lemon, pepper, chili powder, garlic, and smoked paprika. Yeah. Do I season it in a bowl or in a spray? Mm -hmm. And they're just like, hit it with some oil first so it sticks. Okay, so I... This is the codfish. This is what it's looking like. It's kind of already like broken up on its own, which is good, but I do need to like get it really, really fine. So I think I'm just gonna sit here and like flake it myself and then add it to the mixture. Um, you can kind of like, you can put it into a food processor, but mine is really small and I don't really feel like doing all that right now, so I think I'm just gonna like keep messing with it until it gets really nice and thin and hopefully that should work. In the meantime, he's making some roasted cauliflower. He initially wanted to make um, a cauliflower mash but he didn't pick up some like milk or anything so we're just gonna have a bunch of veggies on the side of this which honestly we'll probably need anyways. Onions and peppers. I'm just gonna add the codfish. It is hot, but we don't have time to be waiting, so. You have more of these? 
also mini review of this our place um like baking pan a hundred percent would recommend it makes it so easy to cook like bigger things i haven't like baked in it yet but i assume that would be just as great too but just on the stove top it is so convenient yesterday what did we make with it already we made burgers or like um oh yeah i showed it to you guys yesterday and then also today with the fish they were so big and instead of having to like chop it up or like use multiple dishes i just put it all in one and it's so easy to clean so it's looking like that i'm gonna add some cilantro this one's like already like grated and everything so i'm just gonna add a little bit of that some minced garlic actually i have a little bit left in this one already i'm gonna add some saison seasoning a little bit of this like tomato cooking base got some all-purpose flour i'm gonna add some salt i already salted the fish pretty good but I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna have some smoked paprika, like a smoky flavor to it. And then I want it a little bit spicy, so I'm gonna add some chili powder and some black pepper. A little lime juice. I'll show you guys what it's looking like. It smells actually really good. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna actually save some of this just because I feel like it's a lot of codfish. I can like make it another day. I'm just gonna freeze it. So I'll probably save like half of this. I'm just gonna put that in the freezer. Then I'm gonna make a quick batter. So I'm gonna add some flour, probably about like maybe a cup and a half of flour to start. Maybe two cups actually. Add a little bit of some baking powder. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Maybe a little bit more baking powder. I'm gonna do like a total of like a tablespoon together. And then I'm gonna add some water to this. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this texture. I'll see if I need to add more water, but I'm just gonna add this to the codfish. It's all together, that's what it's looking like. Here's what the batter's looking like. Looks pretty good. It's kind of like a falafel batter a little bit, maybe just a tiny bit more wet since it is a fritter, but let's hope this fries up nicely. I think it will. While I wait for the oil to heat up, I'm gonna make these delicious little buns. Um, if you guys watched my vlog, um, the day that I hit 500K, my husband and I went out for dinner uh, we had these rolls at the restaurant and they were so good so i did an entire recipe for them on tiktok and uh, instagram and they kind of went viral <laughs> and they're so good so i'm making them again we've already made them like a bunch of times but my husband i guess was craving them because he came back home from the grocery store with hawaiian rolls so here we are i'm gonna hit them with some melted butter nothing about today's dinner is healthy but you know what we didn't have a big iftar last night and then we forgot to wake up or we didn't, we missed our alarm for Sapur, so it's okay, right? This is everything but the bagel seasoning, salt free, and then pop this into the air fryer. I think the oil should be ready by now, so let's test it. Okay, it's starting to fry up now, let's see. Okay, it's frying, but I don't know if it's like sizzling as much as I want it to how big this thing is. I can get so much done. Okay, I don't want to overcrowd these, so we'll stick with six at a time. Okay, these are actually turning out way better than I expected. They look so delicious. It made 12. And yeah, I guess this is like a recipe test gone right. Hopefully they taste good. Obviously that's gonna be the real, the real test, but. I kind of burnt a few of them a little bit, but honestly I'll probably eat those because I kind of like things a little bit more burnt and crispy, but they're like, they look really, really good. 
Oh, and my bay is coming in right now. How'd it go? I think you'll be happy. I said, I think you'll be happy. As long as I'm happy. <laughs> they look good, right? <laughs> Oh, that worth it? Give my props. <laughs> uh, hey, okay, it was we'll, my hands nah, though. We're gonna add the bloopers in there. It was my hands though, okay? I had to, I had to improvise and it turned out good. Day by a super man. Just the perfect meal to have before we go. <laughs> yeah. You made sure I got all my favorites from the grocery store. <laughs> you guys seen how to cravings day at the grocery store. It's the rite of passage. <laughs> the Ramadan rite of passage. <laughs> Where you just get like everything you're craving all at once, even if it doesn't make sense altogether. Does this make sense to you? Um it doesn't not make sense. Mm. God. Wow. That's serious. I like the gingerbread bento. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie. Codfish fries are a little oily. Let me give them a nice good squeeze. I don't know why that is, but mm, they smell good. <laughs> Who did that? Thank you. I don't know if I'm a fan of the sauce. It's so sweet. Yeah. It's a Thousand Island dressing. I don't like Thousand Island. Mm -hmm. I feel like with this. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. No, no, no. You don't like it? Yeah, Too salty? Hard, no. Mm -mm. I like it. I'll have to figure out a good sauce for this. I only use a thousand. Special sauce might be good. Yeah, I only use a thousand island because you bought it, but I feel like I would make my own. The small dip is okay. Small dip. A small dip with a big bite. I feel like a cilantro, small. cilantro lime mayo, mayo would be good. So fritters with the butt, date butter rolls. Oh my. Is your two favorite things of the month? Come closer, real quick. <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice crunchy bite. Comfort. <laughs> yeah. This was a success. Mm, we didn't taste this. And that's one of our favorites too, but it don't even matter. No. He's locked up. All right, we like one more. There's so much food. No, he got caught. <laughs> 